Hello planner friends, welcome to my channel. This is Vicky from Planners Travels and Dreams and today I will show you how I decorate and plan in my monthly view in my new Erin Condor Flora Vertical Planner. Now I have already placed down um, some stickers from Planner Kate and uh, as you can see I didn't put this sticker over here and I will tell you why and I also have used some white out because uh, this design comes all the way and I want to stop here now I don't plan to use a kit but I plan to use this scrapbook paper uh, that I got few years ago uh, from Wootens. They're closed now and I hope you can see it in camera. I have one for every month and that's my intention for this year and I have more than one from this design so I went ahead and cut these. This to go over here and this over here and let's see how it's gonna look. So, first things first, I want to put some, uh, this is glue, uh, this is permanent glue, and I hope I have enough. My mistake, I didn't check before I start. And uh, you can use washi tape, you can use some kits, you can leave your imagination go wild. And oops, hmm. interesting. I didn't, hopefully, I didn't destroy my, my brand new planner. Let me put a piece of paper underneath here because I want to place this glue all the way to the edge so it sticks, and then. Let's see if my measurements are good. Let's, let's see. Yes, they are. And I know they're a bit over the edge, but that's okay. I did that on purpose. So at least I can, you know, I can have enough. So I'm going to use just scissors and cut it. Do you use kits? Do you decorate your monthly layout in your planner? Do you use it? I use it all the time. For me, it's one of the most important, um, actually the two most important pages in my planner. And sometimes I say that if, if I didn't have any uh, weekly pages that would be okay as long as I would have the monthly planner I think it looks nice and then for this part um, I found something that a part that writes July it's not straight but I think it will do and because it's scrap paper I don't need to use white out oh this glue is gonna destroy my planner why is it so strong? Well, it's not repositionable. Oh. I'm glad, I am glad I have something that goes all the way to the top. And let me do this. This is the first time I try to do this in, in my planner with this glue. Yeah, I think it's going to destroy it. Let's see, I think I have one more, which is a repositionable glue. Let's see if this will work. Yes, this works a lot, a lot better. As I said, I don't mind because it will be covered, hopefully, by this. And you know what? Maybe I should have put the glue here. Yes. Well, we learn from our mistakes. 
and definitely I don't want to ruin my brand new planner. Yeah. Let's see now. Now I know this is not straight on the top, but that is okay. You know, sometimes we're, things are not as you plan them and the idea looks nice when you think about it and then it doesn't look so nice but the most important thing is i believe to use your planner just use it it's okay if it's not perfect it's okay if it didn't work one month next month or one day or one week next time it's gonna look better it's gonna work if you don't use it if you don't mista make mistakes, how are you going to learn? And yes, functionality is number one, but you know, I like something to look beautiful. And I think here we are okay. Yes, that's it. Let me put, this is it. What do you think? I could stop here. I have also, some more things i have these sea cells and summertime and you know what i most probably put summertime and these sea cells in my planner i just had an idea again i am this time i'm going to put the glue here not on my planner and I, I will make sure it goes everywhere and this for summertime and you know you can use any scrapbook paper you have i am trying once again to use what i have not necessarily buy more things i think Yes, like that, summertime, July. Usually, it used to be the month that uh, we would go on vacation. Now with COVID, we stay home like that. Yep. And I have this girl and I have some other things that I have uh, already cut. But I'm thinking I'm going to wait until maybe the end of the month. So if there is any space, I can place it like that somewhere in my planner now the next thing i do and if you watched my previous video i have this note with all the important dates that i want to write down on my planner is to uh, put important dates and i use my monthly planner uh, for everything appointments work uh, celebrations and talking about celebrations i live in the united states this is we celebrate independence day on july 4th and i'm going to use the stickers from the uh, christian designs 2021 celebrations collection i start using these always on uh july when my planner starts and then um I continue for the whole academic year. When you do that, you have to be really careful for the days, sorry, the celebrations of January to June, because sometimes uh, it's not on the same, exactly the same day as it is written in, in the binder. And I don't mind that this is gonna take most of the space because we're not doing anything else it's a holiday so very good next thing um, I'm gonna use this uh, pen this marker from Erin Condren uh, there are some religious holidays that I want to write down and we start with the 17th and I also write in Greek in my planner let's say it's a bilingual uh, life planner because that's that's easy for me so it's a celebration for Santa Marina and uh, then 
let's see, nine, um, time death. And these uh, dates are important because if you have the same name with the scent that we celebrate in the church, then you have your name day. And I want to know. And this is for Santa Marcella. So these are either very popular holidays with many people that they have their name day or they have a special meaning for me and my family. Next step, birthdays. And I have this Planner Kate, uh, these Planner Kate stickers, but these are gonna be used only for people in my family. Uh, and I'm going to use this sticker for someone special who has this birthday on the 19th. So let me see if I, I don't have anything else on the 19th because I, I need to make sure that I leave space. And then uh, I have these stickers, blue, again from Planner Kate, blue for the boys, light pink for the girls. And if you're wondering, no, they're not available. What you buy is this one, but she has these color options so you can select for a page to have just the same color so these are number three um, from the pk color options which is light blue and this is number 16 which is the light pink and i'm using this for boys or for those who identify themselves as men and these for girls and women so a dear friend of mine has her birthday on the 20th so let me put this down and I like how they nicely fit perfect next step is to make sure I put down my work schedule and uh, I am going to use some thin washi tape for me, it makes, I, I buy these at Michael's and this one comes from this set. It makes perfect sense for me, or maybe I should use, hmm, no, this one. Uh, it makes perfect sense to use a green one and I haven't used it before, so I have to find out where it starts. There it is. And I mark the, assessments I have so because and let me tell you the company I work for or I make assessments for has green in their logo I decided yeah let's make this project green I have another project that uh, I use similar um, blue another yellow and another red washi tape I know it doesn't match, uh, but for me, color coding is important. So let me know in the comments, do you match everything to be in the same color? Uh, do you coordinate the colors in your monthly view or do you color code? Because for me, it's very important when I open my planner, immediately even even if i don't read what i'm gonna write uh, to know that i have work these days and the way i write it is for example i, I cannot say which project it is but uh, which lab it is but uh, let's say i'm gonna write abc one two three this one is in nigeria so immediately i know that yes this is nigeria i have um, we have, I think, eight hours time difference. So I'm gonna work the previous evening. I'm gonna start working in the evening. And that's it. Uh, but this is, but I know I have an assessment. And when I travel, I also uh, put down 
a washi tape on the days I travel. So, uh, for example, in order to return, I would use Saturday, so I would know that I'm not available on the Saturday. And uh, then this is again one that I'm gonna work the previous night. And I have the last one, or at least up to now, on the 21st. This one is here in the United States. Oh, this one is hard. I have, it's in the East Coast. I live in California. So it means that I will have to start working at 5.30 in the morning. Not the morning type, I can tell you this, but it is what it is. And I'm gonna, I, I use my uh, Pilot, sorry, Pilot G207 to write on the washi tape. It's fine, it just needs just a few minutes, I can say, to uh, dry and it's good to go. So make a test before you start writing. Make a test on the stickers. And if it's the first time you use stickers from the shop, um, what you can do is, and let me cut this washi tape and I will let you know, I will show you actually. Let's see. You take this, let's say it's the first time you're going to use uh, stickers from Planner Kit and you want to know if you can write in the paper with your pilot pen. There is always some space around on the side of each of the... Uh, stickers so you know you can write test and then again test you can do this and you know that you have to wait for a few minutes and you can do this yes so you, you know that you can write but you need to wait for a few minutes and let me do this wait and let and show you Sometimes, if it's a gloss paper, you have to find another um, another uh, pen to write. And uh, this is 21 and continues on the 22 of July. So immediately, when I open this layout, the monthly layout, I, need, I know if there is an event I'm attending, I know that this means I have an assessment. I know what project I have. And it's so easy to plan. That's why I color code. And um, for some things, I use different uh, color of stickers for the members of my family. And it's so, so helpful. It gives me an idea and then I just you know, I just uh, read carefully. And that's it. This is how my month looks like. I can see immediately, remember this cutout girl? It could go here or even here. But we will see. I will wait until the end of the month. And this is how my month starts. Uh, but by the end, it's almost full because this is a plan as you go uh, process. I put down with washi tape stickers things that they are happening, and that's why I don't put any stickers right now just to decorate it because I use it, and it's very important for me to have this monthly layout. So let me know. Oh, let's do this test before we go. See, you just have to wait. Let me know, do you use your monthly view in your planner? How do you use it? And do you like to color code with the sticker kit or the colors of the month? Or do you like to color code depending on the jobs you have to do 
and I, I shouldn't say color code, but maybe coordinate is the right word. I'm sorry, English is not my first language. Do you coordinate with the colors of the decorations you, you use or do you color code depending on the projects and people in your family? Let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for more ideas of how to use my planner. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, press the like button and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, be safe.